friends, uh, I thought I'd make a video about knitting. I've got some wool here and some knitting pins because uh, the videos I've made, uh, the first one I made were um, with the sheep. Uh, quite a, f a few people have reacted uh, saying that they couldn't really see what I was doing. So I'll show you the Danish knitting and, and uh, I'll make a little series because I'd like to show you a bit about my jumpers and how you can make a jumper or anything really uh, and make your own pattern. So it's good of course to be to know how to knit but I mean I believe you can learn anything if you if you just go for it. So let's do some knitting. Okay so I've got this basket here and it's just uh, different types of homemade wool and let's just take a thick one uh, it's not so it's a little bit dirty this one this one I have actually washed <coughs> I knitted something and then I washed the garment or the thing I had made so and you see which needles you want. Um, it's quite thick wool. And of course, all depending on how thickly also you knit. Um, I think this is actually probably a good one, number four. Okay. So let's do this to see if I can get the camera better. Here we go. Now first you just make a loop. Oh, my nail's not very clean. <laughs> it's working hands. Like this. And then put the pins in. And you go like this. Two fingers in and then close around and then go down like that. And keep them quite tight. And then you go under this and over this and through that hole and you pull. And the reason why you're using two is because if you only use one, it's going to be too tight. Here we go again. So you go under here, over, and pull it through, and let it go. And then you tighten it. Show it again. Put your fingers in like that. Hold. And then I have a funny thumb because I got a I got a plum splint splint into splinter into my thumb. It's it's stuck it's stuck there, it never came out. So <laughs> little bit irritating. Luckily it's not painful. So when you're doing this yourself, if you have a pattern and you know exactly uh, which type of wool you want to use and you buy the wool, it, of course a lot of things are easier but when you're doing it yourself and especially with hand spun wool, you, you'll have to try a few times to see how how the tension is and how you want it. So we're just going to make a square now. I think that's enough. And carefully you pull one out 
and you turn it. And I'll just see if I can move. Okay, I got a I got a five, that's better. Because these were a bit too thin. So here we go. You have the end. Like that. And you put your yarn over the finger and hold it like this. And then you go. You can sort of hold these between your fingers. And you go in. Pick it up and go through. Pull it over. So in. And you sort of have to hold these back. So you go in, pick it up, pull it through, and take it over like that. So you go in, pick it up, pull it through. That, there we go. I think this is better. In, pick it up, pull it through, and over. In, pick it up, pull it through, and over. In, pick it up, pull it through, and over. And some say I go too fast. It's when you've learnt it, it's uh, you just go fast. Pull it through and over and you sort of make sure to keep this a bit tight or sort of yeah you keep tightening it see after a while you you learn to go like this with your finger so you don't have to go all the way around with that So I call this the Danish style, but it's not what well, it is, but it's the continental, it's called. And it's a lovely way to knit. It's very relaxing and it's, it can be very, very fast. So there we go. Now we'll turn around and this is, the, this is our, uh, what do you call it, the pearl side. You can see all these little pearls. So we're going to just do another one with just straighten it again. So you go in, pick it up, take it through and pull it over. Oh wait a sec, I didn't, oh, I didn't get the right one. This is how you undo it. Just pick them up again. <clears throat> so you go in, pick it up. Go in, pick it up. And in the beginning it gets it's very loose, but as you get better, you can make it nice and nice and very even. And see this, this first uh, knitting test or tension test is very important when you want to make a jumper or whatever you want to make. Because you, you're seeing, uh, first of all you have all your wool and if it's hand spun of course it has to be as uh, the same thickness as possible because see there's different here we go of course different thicknesses so this is a very 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 fine one 
and this is a very thick one and of course you can't use this for the same jumper unless you have a special pattern so now I've shown this before but let's do it again this is a row of pearl and pearl you, you also have this like this you're always holding your your yarn like this and you go in and you pick it up that way you pull it through so you go you go like this in go around pull it through and over oh. and you sort of tighten a bit but not too much of course you never want to make it really tight because it's it just won't be nice so you put this piece of yarn this over go under go round and pull it through here it's harder than the other one this is this is harder because it, it easily slips off there over through and tighten in over through and tighten in over through and tighten in in over through and tighten and of course this this stitch comes off as you pull it comes off this one It's good to have this in the bottom because otherwise it's going to curl up as you go. I'll do a row of, of knit again. So in, over, pull it through and over. In. I love knitting. I could have done a few more of the. This is rows of uh, just per, uh, just doing uh, knitting. Just just knit every time you turn. It's no, uh, although it looks like pearl. It's a good idea to actually do a few more. So I'll just keep going and I'll come back. So now I've. Uh, the wool's uh, no longer. I'll just show you what to do. So you want to keep going. So you take your your wool, the other end here, and you just put it on here, and just hold it, and do a knit. Just knit a few stitches, and then. You tie, you can tie a knot. This is just make it stick together. Just tie it together, just loosely, not, not uh, tight. And then you, when you finished the work, you sew them in here. And you can actually take the knot off, but this is just to hold it together so there's not a big hole there. 
and you keep going. And some people don't don't knit the ends, just take it off. Just take it off and then uh, knit the other ones, but I I usually knit knit them all. Well, here we come to the spot with the knot. Just just keep that a little bit tight there to make sure that you don't end up with a hole there. See if you're making something very beautiful, you often you'll just make sure it's at the end there. You change the wool. Just keep going a bit more. 